Well, Julian's way here, and I want to talk about. I still want to talk about the whole women's physique 2020. Now, that was one of the most controversial decision, maybe in the entire 2020 Olympia. Others might say no, it was fair, hands down, and so on. I had a lot of comments, the most comments on my YouTube channel about that particular uh, decision made. Uh, Shinee Grant not uh being number one not winning that division and it went to sierra villegas now i did do a video saying she got robbed and a lot of people said that and i clearly looked at the video and i see the structure there the lines and everything so i was going through some you know some instagram normal and i i did saw some more pics of sarah and i did go through instagram i did watch some more videos and i sort of taught it uh taught it over and i i think about it uh maybe 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 what did i say in my other video i did mention about the judges like people might say the judges maybe she's too muscular maybe uh she need to put on too much of size maybe she wasn't conditioned enough even though i do think the conditioning was really close like she need has some more uh dense lines like example in her abs and certain parts in her outer sweep of her tiles so if you're going to go down to her conditioning standpoint you've got to look at the density as well all right so i'm going to get into that this is what uh, Sierra looked like, of course, uh, in 2019. And uh, basically, I'm going to do a comparison of how she's improved from 2019 versus how Shanique improved. I'm going to put them side to side in 2019 versus 2020 and try to narrow things down and be fair as possible as to if it was just about a little bit of conditioning, if it was just a little bit of... Uh, percent of half percent body fat I do not know because let's see all right because genetics and structure you've got to think about a structure as well Shanique wasn't even if she did beat Shanique by conditioning how much of a conditioning versus uh, posing presentation and uh, overall structure you know I think that's the beauty and artistic uh, look to bodybuilding and representation of bodybuilding it's not all about uh, that fine detail so it's it's really hard to say because there are people that come in more condition and they lose uh, shows and there are people that come in with a better structure and win shows and then it goes the opposite way then the judges are, are trying to tell them like I said in my previous video with uh, Keon Peterson and George probably being a bit too muscular for the division so they just keep placing them back and if they're gonna go back to the judges and ask them what they need to improve they should just tell them blank you know this division is not for you you, you should move up and uh have them coming back what if chris bumstead puts on too much of muscle are they gonna just leave him down with his mouth stash there and just say yo you, you're too big for this division chris you need to move up we would like you to move up without telling him indirectly so Chris has just have to keep to that size and other guys are going to come and maybe one day beat him out with a bit a bit more uh, size and detail and that's that's how it goes uh, I do not think that's the right approach man uh, there needs to be a bit more streamlined criteria for uh, these divisions that's that those are my thoughts before I even go any farther uh, so let's go down and check it out uh, pose for pose all right uh, year for year and yeah this is pretty much what Shinik looked like last year so we're gonna do the size we're gonna do the conditioning and that sort of thing all right so let me get right into it all right so here we go sarah versus shanique 2019 now as you can see there yeah let's start off with the biceps there's a little bit more peak in shanique definitely a bit more tapered waist more dense abs like i said the lat flares, the lats are just about uh, the same. It's just because Shinique is a bit more tapered and her waist is smaller. It creates that illusion. The legs, Shinique, as you can see, there's more uh, separation there on her legs. And uh, the back. The back, the back, the back. So, yeah, there's a little bit. Uh, actually, zero, uh back with her muscle looks a little bit more uh, fuller. Shinique's look a bit more dense. Shoulder separation is about the same. Uh, the glutes there and uh, the calves, it's not much of a difference there actually. Uh, the tie-in on the, the, the glutes and how Sierra poses there seems to be a bit more uh, tied in. And 
yeah look at uh, the condition and not much of a difference there but Chinix just looks uh, more polished all right she just looks more polished and definitely her structure is better we all know that last year this year the year before 2018 same thing so that's it that's how they look all right so we all know what Sarah look like uh, a fair idea of what Sarah looked like in 2020 here at uh, prejudging here she was just uh, posing and uh, we have a fair idea of what she looked like all right so I'm just gonna go and see compare what she looked like last year versus this year what improvements she made in terms of conditioning size and that sort of muscle development all right there so there she is on the left in 2019 versus 2020 I do not see a little bit more detail in the calves at least in this pose here and I guess some more separation in the glute and hamstrings triceps are probably the same forearms chest area everything looks the same the conditioning just doesn't seem too much of a difference so we'll get into that more as we go along and see where that improvement is I do not see much of a size difference there yeah as you can see there the abs not much improvement there the legs the inner thighs are a little bit more uh full i guess the separation there hasn't been much difference the calves not much difference maybe a little thing bigger uh 2020 but there's not any uh remarkable uh difference there that i can see as 2020 that look that's more spectacular in fact her waist looks a little bit more big in 2020 her waist was a little bit more small or am i not seeing right please tell me leave your comments the separation there on on the left in 2019 and her armstrings even looks better but her glutes seem to have improved a little bit the calf area not much of a difference there the back the back seems a little bit bigger uh fuller in 2020 but not much sharper and uh, of course we all know what Shanique look like all right so we're gonna do Shanique as well we have a fair idea of what Shanique look like and um, so let's see what Shanique look like 2019 versus 2020 and then we're gonna compare them but just before I do that let's look at Shanique all right let us look at her physique and her size people are saying that she's too muscular she's too big if you look at the women's bodybuilding they would dwarf her she she would disappear it's just the small waist and the aesthetics in Shanique and the genetics makes her look so supreme with her shoulders uh the muscle bellies all right if you put Shanique in front of uh andre shot the, the 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 woman that won the bodybuilding i think she would disappear she needs only look big with with these girls but she's got to put on a lot more muscle all right those are my thoughts so i do not know where people are going with that so here anyways this here is the comparisons all right so on the left is 2019 on the right is 2020 there you go i do not see any much of a big difference a little bit more bigger in her ties yes she has gained some size as you could really look into it yes she did gain some size that's for sure all right so that's one pose all right let us see another pose so here we go how much improvement here all right so her waist is a little bit thicker there she's still tapered there's more quads and uh seems to be a little bit more sharper a little bit more dense last year i would think would you guys agree with that or not but definitely she's bigger so let's say this picture here isn't uh close enough in the comparison all right i still think that um definitely you can see there's more improvement improvement naturally there and more mass whether uh i zoom in or not on one particular picture the, the back has improved there's more uh separation there in the back look at the trapezius there the lower back separation the shoulders definitely she's gained more size the glute has improved and the tie-in and the hamstrings are more separated the calves are more separated so it's not like she got bigger and smoother to any extent and um yeah so here we go all right the bottle 2020 sarah versus shanique 
all right so what what do i see here triceps look good shows about the same the calves are a little bit more bigger on sarah a little bit more defined maybe uh yeah it is uh so yeah the hamstrings and glutes seems a bit more separated there hmm quads are a little bit more separated on sarah there the triceps area the up area i still think shanique has her there so like i said are you are you always are uh, right through the entire show uh better in conditioning versus prejudging versus the finals and um it's really it's really hard to say because both of them uh did made improvements and here we go again do not see much of a difference with conditioning here man look at the separation in shanique's arms there her, her glutes her legs her calves they're both polished and they're both lean they're both shredded so if it's by uh, a body fat of 0.5 percent over a uh, structure i am thinking muscularity how more big is shanique over sarah look at sarah's quads her inner ties are probably even touching more than shanique look at her waistline she doesn't really have no kind of abs her lats are not that uh, wider than Shanique and it she she just doesn't have that I mean if she does beat her in conditioning look at the separation there on the quarter inner ties and Shanique versus Sierra how big is she actually their waists are almost the same but it's just that the structure well uh, Sierra is a little bit more uh, wide on her waist and there we go how much separation do you guys see there please tell me the ab, Shanique beats her in the ab. The ties, I do not see any big separation to talk about there in the ties. And if you're going to go on just the glutes and hamstrings, what about the ab separation and the other body parts like the shoulders and triceps and the back? We're going to see the back, all right? The back seems to be a big thing ever since uh, Dorian, Karani Coleman, Phil Heath. <laughs> all right, so here we are. Here we go. How much better is Sarah's back? Shanique, I do not think it is. Look at the lat tie in there and the trapezius there, the separation in the upper part there. Sarah has a little bit more chunk on her upper trapezius there, but the glute uh, separation there might be a little bit sharper more than Shanique. But look at the hamstring separation there on Shanique. I think Shanique got her good in the hamstrings. Maybe uh, Sarah got her on the glute. In this shot, particularly, Sarah seems to be a bit more outstanding on the back the upper back here versus earlier so like i said different pitch pitchers and being there might be a different thing but how big is she over here is that a huge difference there i do not really think that that's any significant uh difference to say that her muscularity is more look at sierra look at sierra's uh cows yo look at sierra's cows but this right here is what really hit me and I'm saying that this is her 2019. This shot right here, you know, this here kind of reminds me of uh, Big Rami, the whole gluten hamstrings. Everybody's going to be going for gluten hamstrings. So is this why she won the gluten hamstrings? I'm thinking about the quad, the teardrop on, on Shanique's, her inner ties, the density in her abs, her overall structure. So a little bit of 0.5 percent condition and beat her okay so that's what we're going with and look at these other women you know maybe she looks more like a female bodybuilder than a, than a classic physique these women are all they have a decent amount of size look at her hamstrings yo look at look look at the hang on, on that girl's hamstring there look at these women these women are, are probably bigger than uh shanique but because like i said shanique because of her structure makes her muscle bellies look like that kind of like how flex wheeler and uh phil heat is small joints you know but i i do not know man i think it's ridiculous but they really need to set a, a judging criteria for these athletes to know what they're about but you know it's all down in the books and zero one at the end of it regardless like uh, shinik said in her interview you know they're probably looking for something it's uh clear that they're uh, looking for uh, something different the IFBB and she said she she's not she's moving on and so forth and so on you saw that went viral and she went back and forth to say she's happy and she's moving on she planned to move on 
whether or not uh, she had placed well eventually she want to have kids and so on so you know at the end of the day it is what it is I still think it's it's uh, somehow it, it, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem right and uh, I think if Shiniko uh, goes back there I do not think it will make much of a difference so I think her moving on because I mean how much of a conditioning really did she got beat by and if she comes in sharp maybe like you said maybe she's too muscle maybe she have a little bit more so maybe it's that who knows so people can always speculate we can all speculate the judges might say something else when she gets here they're gonna say something else so it is what it is guys i'm not gonna rant on about this video it's already gone too long if you made it this far enjoy the video please give the video a thumbs up also remember to please like share and subscribe if you haven't leave your likes and comments of course and uh until my next video guys peace and take care stay safe